There has been talk in the XRP community that the XRP ledger, XRPL, can process payments without the internet. Some members, like SMQKE, provided examples suggesting this. They showed payment systems where users could access and use their XRP offline through methods like SMS. One example was iBonus, which used QR codes and Bluetooth for payments without the internet. Another was Manla Money, a service that allows sending and receiving digital assets via SMS, bypassing the need for smartphones or internet. These examples led some to believe that XRPL supports offline transactions. However, Experts in the XRPL developer community have disputed this claim. Vet, an XRPL validator, said XRPL does not work offline. He explained that services like Manla Money use special tags for transactions, which don't actually move funds on the blockchain but just adjust account balances. Even if Manla Money tried to move funds using SMS or Bluetooth, it would still need internet at some point. Vet emphasized that this is not unique to XRPL and can be done on any blockchain. Weetse Wind, founder of XRPL Labs, also confirmed that XRPL does not support offline transactions. He said that while you can verify transactions offline, you still need internet access to complete any transaction. Ripple's CTO, David Schwartz, agreed with Wind. He said that for a transaction to happen on XRPL, it must eventually connect to the internet. He clarified that so-called offline transactions either do not happen on the ledger or need an intermediary with internet access. Despite these explanations, SMQKE shared a video suggesting XRPL transactions could be done via radio waves and satellites without the internet. VET responded by saying that these methods involve third-party tools acting as intermediaries to complete online transactions. VET compared this to training a parrot to input a PIN for a transaction asking if this would mean XRPL is parrot-enabled. This analogy highlighted that the ledger itself does not have offline capabilities, even if indirect methods are used. So, that's the update for now. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.